In this video, we're going to cover a couple of different items associated with the cart. Uh, we're going to talk about resetting tasks, and we're going to talk about removing items from the cart. So let's start with resetting a task. Now, currently in the cart, we just have a smoke detector and a diagnostic fee. We could go ahead and add this smoke detector into the cart and then we realize you know what we need to do some additional tasks or we need to change something based on conversations we've had with the customer whatever the case may be you're able to cl simply click on reset task it'll take you back to your task selections and clear all of that out but you'll notice it does keep your diagnostic reminders plus you have access to any job details so we're ready to go ahead and correct now we still want um, I think we still want the smoke detector so we'll go ahead and add that back in and we'll also go up and add a laboratory faucet and we'll pick that item so now that we've added the additional item into our list we're ready to go ahead and create that presentation for the customer so let's do that so once we've clicked that we now have the new items in our cart. Everything is ready to go. Our cart's cleaned up, ready for us. So we'll add in the laboratory faucet and we'll add in the smoke detector. Now once we've added those, we could make a decision to um, give a discount by removing the uh, diagnostic fee. Uh, however your process works, you have some options on how you can go about it we're going to go ahead and add an actual discount give the customer a discount um, a twenty dollar discount and the system does that we then uh, maybe had a situation where we were talking with the customer and they're not comfortable with the twenty dollar discount they feel like they want more so you could just simply remove that discount you could come back up and maybe offer them a forty five dollar discount and now they're happy 